what up YouTube fans, this is Zubi Masters, starting my let's play of Tactic Ogres Reborn. Tactics. It's as we heard, Denim. Lancelot's returned. Then it's time. Right, sister?
Time to end this madness. We can't beat him, you know that. What are you saying, Kasua? You'd have us pass up a chance like this? It's foolishness to think the three of us might defeat the Dark Knights. They're the ones who have been foolish, and we stand to gain. Don't tell me you're scared. If you've lost your taste for blood, I'll do this myself. That's enough, Vice. Let's go. No, this won't end well. And what do we gain by taking their lives anyway? Lancelot is captain of the Dark Knights, and they are the source of Barkram power. Kill Lancelot, and you remove one of the pillars supporting them. The Barkram will falter, if only for a moment. Yet that moment will be all the encouragement the Galgastani require. They want Valeria for their own. The turmoil of the last war has only just settled, and you'd start another. Are we worse to so free of turmoil now, Koshua? We are less than vermin in their eyes. Insects to be crushed on the foot. If war begins anew, we'll die just the same. Shh, they're here. We'll flank them. Then them go round behind. Right. goes there. Friends of the Resistance, and no friends of yours. The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Wait, do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot, and that makes you my enemy. Uh, Lancelot is my name. True. How is it that you know me? How could I forget you? The Dark Knights laid torch to this town only a winter past. The Dark Knights? But we come from the kingdom of New Zenobia to the east. And Lancelot of the Dark Knights has but one eye. You have two. One eye, you say? Would that he lacked my name as well. His reputation, it seems, does me no favor. No marauding knights us, but mercenaries come looking for work. I am Lancelot Hamilton, a holy knight of Zenobia. And I am Canopus, the one they name Windcaller. Our aged companion here is... The Starseer, Warren Oman, at your service. Mirden Warhol, a knight of Zenobia, as it please you. Gildas is my name. There now, no need to be frightened. I wasn't. I, I don't. I don't know what to say. Forgive us, good knights. But perhaps this meeting might benefit us both. We have need of strength such as yours. Ah, tell us your tale then. We are strangers in this land, and I would hear more of it. Vice is my name. It would seem that you are not our enemy. I am the Sybil Kashua, and this is my brother, Denon. I'm Denon. Please, forgive our error. Already forgotten. Though you did give us quite the surprise. Now, do you think we might talk somewhere out of this wretched heat? We have just the place. It's not much, but it's secret. And it's safe. As it is, 
We lack swords enough to face the Galgastani. The Vakram share our deficit. A deficit they've remedied by joining forces with Lotus. So Lotus sent them the Dark Knight's Lost Lorian. Lost Lorian is an order under the direct command of High Priest Sardian, ruler of Lotus. They are said to be the greatest of the Sixteen Orders and the High Priest's favorite besides. Yet he uses them not in open battle, but in shadows and secrecy. They are his ears and his dagger. They are as dark as their name. And these Dark Knights, whatever you call them, are backing the Bakram, eh? So, why are you come to our Isles? Does Zenobia think to claim Valeria as her own? Do Lotus and Zenobia mean to bring their wars to our shores? Enough, Vice. Your question deserves an answer. We are Zenobian, after all. Yet we do not serve as knights of Zenobia. We were banished, cast out. We're outlaws. No place waiting for us back home. No. We've come to find work, preferably of the well-paying variety. I don't trust you, and I don't trust your story. This is our fight. Vice, please. Lord Knight, you must forgive our passion. There is nothing to forgive. Tell me, what will you do now? For one, we have to get Duke Ronway out of Almorica. Duke Ronway? He is your leader. Not just us. He leads all the Wallister. The Galgastani hold him captive in their castle. They plan to execute him, if the rumors are to be believed. And we mean to stop them. A duke? But if his purse matches his title, a little rescue work might be just the thing. How about it, Lancelot? Look. I'm sorry for not trusting you. It's true that if we're to rescue the Duke, we're going to need help. Then there's nothing to be gained jabbering on here, eh? To Almorica Castle. Wait! The castle is well defended. A fight there would mean our deaths. And yours, Lord Knight. And I... I've seen enough of fighting. Enough of death. What about you, Denham? Would you have our aid? Without your help, the Duke is as good as dead. Ah, then it's settled. We will prepare at once. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world. You are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only... Promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. What's keeping you? Everyone's ready. You can't coddle him forever. He's no little boy anymore. Do not speak to me of my brother. He does not share your lust for blood. I have no love for war, but I'd sooner die on my feet than on my knees. You would die on the backs of others. You were the one who brought them in here, Kashua. Because when I find a tool well suited for a job, I use it. At least one of us has the sense to recognize an opportunity. You should thank me. <laughs> Is that how you see people? As tools? I'd have expected more of a civil. I only want to see an end of death.
Are you the rebels what been hiding out in Golia? Here to save your duke, is it? There's 2,000 goth on that one's head, boys. Half the post to him what brings him down. A narrow stream, scarce one pace across. Easily jump this. Watch. But, look before, eh? You can only jump to ground of the same height or lower. One of the winged, like me, moves with no heed of height or terrain. Even so, rushing in alone without someone to watch your back is asking for an early grave. Always keep a close watch on the action to see who will move next. Avoid unnecessary actions and keep speed on your side. The distance a unit moves and the actions it takes determine how long it must wait to move again. The order in which units act is called the attack turn. Keep a close eye on this. You can sort units by order of attack turn to quickly tell which unit will move next. When a unit's turn comes round, you can command it to move, act, or use skills. What's more, you can issue these commands in any order you see fit. Think on your choice as well. The command to move can be cancelled at any time. If you find a unit out of range for a planned attack, try moving it to a different location. Units begin battle with no MP, that being the font of all magical power. Units accumulate MP gradually over time. Powerful magic requires greater amounts of MP so think ahead before casting a spell. Skills are divided into four broad categories. Action, support, auto, and special. Units learn skills as they gain levels, according to their class. That just now was meditate, an auto skill. Auto skills will sometimes take effect before your turn comes around. Use this to your advantage. Magics must do more than learn a spell to wield it in battle. You must assign the spell before you enter the fray. Assign spells to your units from the party screen. Be sure that you don't forget. You'll need a class mark in order to change a unit's class. Some class marks can be found for sale in shops, but not all are to be had so easily. A unit's level doesn't change when they change classes, so if one class isn't working out, a new line of work may be in order. There's no reason to go making things harder on yourself than they already are. To use common consumables, such as Mendleaf in battle, you'll have to prepare before you're on the field. Up to four may be ready. Best choose them with your unit's needs in mind. Take heed of the enemy's element before striking. 
There are eight in all. Air, earth, lightning, water, fire, ice, light, and darkness. Each element has its strength. Air against earth and so on. It can be enough to give you the edge you need. Each unit has a level, but so does your party. Your party's level will rise as you lead them to victory in the stages to come. And remember, a unit can't advance beyond the level of the party. <laughs> One whisper of Ronway's execution and out you come. Bold as you please. A rat can smell a trap, but not all rebels, huh? High time we were rid of your lot. Support skills are just that. Skills that provide some passive benefit to the user. When I move, you'll notice yellow points of light near me on the ground. This is a support skill called Rampart Aura. Any foes entering the range of the aura will be unable to move further until their next turn. Some support skills hinder the enemy's movement, while others might grant enhanced strength. Consider well your class and lay of the battlefield when choosing which to use. We walked right into it. Trap or no, we fight. I've never let a Galgastani get the better of me. And I don't mean to start today. Focus, Vice. Our first duty is to save the Duke. Don't lecture me on duty. Your only duty is to stay alive. You should not speak to Denim so. He was only trying to help. No Wallisters. I know a man from Lotus when I see one. Denim. You shouldn't let Vice get to you. I'm fine, sister. Back to the back. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Garlock has turned. Way inside is clear. Stay on guard. Leave the heavy lifting to us, Denim. Cover our flank. That's all we ask. Master Nyberth away. Listen well. We face the rogues who slew Bapal and his men. Underestimate them and share Bapal's fate. Give these rebel swine a taste of Galgastani steel. Almorica shall never fall. Interlopers, why do you meddle in our affairs? Our struggle with the Wallister goes back generations. It's no concern of yours. Or do you seek to claim Valeria as Lotus does? I will have your answer. We are men without a country. We have lent them our swords because it suits us to do so. And we're looking for mercenary work as it happens, not hiring by any chance. And worry you'll leave for a bigger purse? <laughs> we don't need outsiders to do our killing. He makes a good point. Let's rescue this duke, collect our reward, and be done with him. The craven who would choose lucre over loyalty deserves only one reward.
my life for Galgastan. of freedom is sweet. You have my thanks. Sweeter still that Wallace the youths came to my aid. Denim was it. Doubtless you and your friends are a gift from the great father himself. The Wallace de Boone is great and our future bright. We are not alone in our loyalty. Upon word of your grace's release, many Wallace have left their haunts for our Morica. And there is still time before the Galgastani come to remedy my freedom. Though not long, I fear. We must regroup. Now I must ask if the tale our guests have told us is indeed the truth. Upon my sword it is. We are outcasts from our land. I do not doubt your sword. It is the whiskers of your companion that give me pause. I hear a diviner matching his description was ever at the side of King Tristan when your new Zenobia came into being two years past. And that you, Sir Lancelot, were captain of the Holy Knights. Is the Saint King so brazen as to cast out the very men who placed him upon the throne? I too have heard tell of this diviner, but I am not he. Lodis plagues us with the Dark Knights, Lost Lorian. How do we know that you are not some new menace visited upon Valeria? If new Zenobia does not seek to you, sir, I would have your proof. Your Grace, these holy knights risked their own lives to win your freedom. A man can claim knighthood only when he serves a worthy lord. It is for such a man that we seek. I have your word, and its proof shall be in your deeds. You sought a reward shall have it. And employment besides. I would have you train our Wallace to loyals as guards and soldiers here in Almorica. As you wish. Now, Denham, your father was an Abuna in Goliath, was he not? I met him myself once. A wise man, I believe, not fancied. What happened in Goliath was a tragedy. Please, Your Grace, you must avenge our father. No, all the people of Goliath. Yet the enemy before us is Galgastan. They must come first. And for that, I will need knights. Knights such as yourselves. Will you join my table at Almorica? Us? Knights? As young heroes of Wallister, you will serve as a shining example to your clansmen. I would have you become knights in my direct service. Well, what say you? Of course. I mean, as you wish, Your Grace. I know Denim's with me on this. Excellent. Now, if you are to be a knightly order, you will require a name. What do you think? Yes, a fine name. You'll go far, I'm certain. I have much for you to do. Your first task takes you to the town of Chrysara, to the southwest. The captain of my knights, Sir Leonard, has gone there in pursuit of the former overseer of this castle, a necromancer named Nilo. Truth be told, he's having a harder time of it than was expected. You'll be going to Chrysara to aid him. Understood? Now before you leave, 
you'll want to fill your ranks with soldiers from Almorica and purchase such gear as you'll require. I expect you have little in way of coin, so I'm giving you 30,000 got from the treasury and a few of my own knights to serve under you. <laughs> you can count on us, Your Grace. We won't let you down. Then may victory and glory await you, young heroes of Wallister. Led us to gainful employ after all. My thanks. No, it is I who should thank you. So, you are off to aid one of the Duke's men. I regret we cannot join you. Above all else, stay alive. Win or lose, while there's life, there's hope. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. Best not forget, the dead get no second chances. If death were our aim, there are swifter ways to go about it than soldiery. We fight to live. True enough. Still, do not needlessly seek out danger. Enough will find you as it is. <laughs> of course. You are the heroes of Goliath, are you not? I must thank you for saving His Grace, the Duke. Indeed, accept my thanks on behalf of us all. And you are? Ravnus Luxarian, a knight in service of the Duke. I would ride to Leonar's aid myself, but His Grace has other need of me. I fear the task falls to you. <laughs> no need of fear, friend. We took back this castle, didn't we? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. And what manner would that be? She and her fellow knights drew off the garrison defending the castle. Else, we would not have succeeded. Hmm. If it were not for the sacrifice of others, we would be no heroes of Goliath now. Make no mistake. I have high hopes for you. We must unite the people behind us if we are to put an end to this endless war. Word of your heroics emboldens them. Then you hold us up as heroes to serve some stratagem, is that it? If you do not like it, give truth to the lie. Write your own fate on the battlefield. May fate smile on us both, Dame Ravnus. His Grace provided you with war funds, yes? Remember, they do no good sitting in your coffers. Arms, spells, provisions. Even a single magic ring can mean the difference between victory and defeat. She thinks highly of herself. I pray we are not near when she falls from such height.
Alistair rebels? Here? Then Almorica has fallen for true. Reinforcements for their kinsmen we've pinned down in Chrysara. Make peace with the light, Wallace swine! Today you die! You looked a lonely lot. Thought I might join you. I am Canopus. Step forward and meet your fate, dogs. Is a Wallace to fight. We need no help from you. Stubborn as ever, eh? How did one so young grow so thick of skull? Thick? I'll give you thick. Ow! Not the wings! Vice, control yourself. Today we fight for Wallace Durana. Where does it lead? What's the matter? Lose your... Or has the nagging of your pacifist sister unmanned you? Always hiding behind her skirts. Thick of skull and a bully besides. That's enough squawking out of you, Birdman. Better a bird than a fruit. Ugh. You're not men. Your children. Let me tell you a thing or two about battle, Dylan. Clear the wax from your ears and listen. The key is to divide and conquer. 
Whether you face a fearsome giant or a timid dormouse, that's the way it's done. Focus your attacks on one enemy at a time, and you'll emerge the victor. Kenan, Sibyls and Mages cannot withstand the withering attacks of the front lines. Keep us in the back, where we can support our warriors from afar. Be mindful of the enemy's position, and bring us no closer than need be. Use a bird's eye view if you're unsure of the distance. One more piece of advice, Denim. If you come across a blue card on the field, be sure to pick it up. These can provide a boon to aid you for the rest of the battle. Stronger attacks, more critical strikes, and the like. But a single unit can only benefit from four of these boons at once, so mind who you give them to. Oh, and keep away from the red card. These will wipe out any boons you've already picked up. You might want to try knocking your enemies into those. <laughs> Green cards raise a unit's core attributes, and the best part is they keep the bonus even after the battle ends. Take a close look at each card before someone picks it up to gauge its effect. There are many cards, and it doesn't pay to go wasting them on the wrong soldier.
Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.